just felt like doing that. Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nathan Johnny. Um, ah, I don't know. Just mixing it up, man. Hey, check it out. It's my fox glove. Hello. How are you doing? That's the title of this song. It's by Boston Manor. We like Boston Manor. We do. We do. I didn't like that. I bet you they liked it. They, they saw the actual Fox Club. All well, you uh, saw was my yeah, stupid yeah, hand. Yeah, stupid hand. I was like, what is he doing? Uh, that is the magic of McGee. The magic. Ah, very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, yeah. We do love Boston Man- Manor. They're a great band. Um, and I'm super keen for them to drop an album. Where is it? Because they've dropped a few singles. and Or are they just dropping singles? Doesn't say anything about an album. Come man. Oh wait, there's um, Johnny's a dickhead. And so... we are not releasing an album until, until he's gone. <laughs> until he's dead. <laughs> oh, that's very heavy. <laughs> Boston Manor, honestly, where How are your manners? Dare you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, uh, you guys should like and subscribe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. It was all right. Oh, okay. It's uh, not the best you've done. It's nah, not the worst what... you've done. It's definitely not the worst. I've had some fucking pearlers. One time, Johnny brought a baby on the channel and punched it. <laughs> um, hold my baby for me. I brought my baby along. I don't know why you've done this. Hold this it right is... there. Hold my baby there. It's my baby. Nathan, ask me to um, describe Code Orange's sound. Describe Code Orange's sound. <sighs> That's not a joke. Yeah. Be, hey, look at me. I'm going to create some cool content. You're just like... Shouldn't have started this channel with you. Yeah, actual regret. <laughs> oh, it wasn't on this channel. It was on the old channel. It was on the old one. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's gotten a little bit better over time. <laughs> and I've gotten a little bit more patient. Weirdly, I should be losing my patience. I think you're just used to it by now. Like like we've said before, we've been friends for too long. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too long, but like too yeah. long for it to have been. Thank you, much. Sweet do. Too long. It's just you and them. You and them. You ain't Scarlet. A little bit of a nothing but thieves vibe from that. I get a little bit of a new trash boat vibe as well. Yeah, actually, yeah. These I don't get nothing but thieves vibe at all. Actually. Oh really? Yeah, yeah okay. just trash boat. Well, I think you're wrong, but I do get the trash boat one. Just don't shoot it down like you do. So Tones. That's exactly what I was going to say. They have a real heavy guitar tone to them, which I really like for a band that's not crazy heavy. Yeah, guitar tone actually, funnily enough, reminds me a little bit of Don Broco. Yeah, for sure. But we they definitely do something. have like that modern trash vibe, uh, trash boat vibe about them. And I believe they've just Can't toured together. called them modern trash. Modern trash. Do like a new garbage. Dude, that's actually a good name for a band. Modern trash. Start another band, bro. Nah, fuck As a vocalist. Bro. Nah, fuck bands. Too much work. For very little role. It's your own fault. <laughs> Be better. <laughs>
I love the simplicity to the strumming of the same. This is just bound, bound. It's just very stabby and simple. But I'm it also it like that. Works so wow, well. wow, 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 wow. Yeah, sort of overlaid with it though. These guys have gone for a bit more of a simplistic approach on the last few songs. Um, more straight rock and roll. Yeah, and it, it works. It definitely works. very catchy it's very moody and um sort of sludgy i dig that sludgy Mm. that's an interesting term for it i wouldn't have said it was sludgy but i kind of get where you're coming from well i did call it modern trash so yes you did i liked the um the the track cam sort of thing where it's like on his head as it's moving around it's like staying just directly focused on him as they're moving around yeah i think that's kind of a really cool effect just to keep a focus but also keep it interesting as they're going around there um yeah. the film itself was i didn't really follow the storyline of it like the in the window a bit and the looking out no and the shoes of the power line and stuff i don't really understand that but it was enjoyable to watch yeah but was, i really liked the song it was a pretty simplistic film clip i mean like if i'm being honest the film clip just was essentially just a kind of a little bit of a more fun performance video i guess like just, just like a, a new variation of like the empty car park videos yeah pretty much yeah so i could have taken or leave in the music video to be honest but i mean I, I just love boston Manor so much i think they're a fantastic band and i think they're just criminally underrated they're so good at what they do um and they've come a long way and i would like yeah. to hear a full album come out because it's been a yeah. while since the last one it's been a while yeah a hot minute if you will well it came out um 2019 yeah. Yeah, so it is some time. Hey, they've had plenty of time to write, and they clearly are. But, um, yeah, I'd be interested. I love his voice. I think he's got a fantastic voice. Yeah, he does. It's very iconically him, too. Yep. Not Sounds cool. Not trying to sound like anyone else, just doing his own thing, which is cool. Mm. What did you guys think of that? Did you enjoy Foxglove? Yes, we all enjoyed it. Glad you guys enjoyed it. I mean, not so much. But anyway, thanks for watching. You did enjoy it. You're a dickhead. I didn't see the fox glove, so all I'm seeing is the hand. I've seen your hands before, bro. They're not that fucking impressive. Get over your goddamn hands. Want to see a fun thing about my hands? What? I think I've showed you this before. Put your hands out. See how you've got two lines around there? Yeah. Two lines around there. These people can't see this, yeah. Okay, everyone, get your hands up. <laughs> He's going to rob you all. <laughs> <laughs> no, put your hand up so I can show you. See how... I hope this works. You can see there's two lines running across Johnny's hands. If you look at your hands... There's a 99% chance you all have two lines running across your hands. I have one line that runs across mine. So, one line that runs there. I don't have two lines. Okay. Put your hand up and make it as big and square as you can, like nice and flat. Look how far down my thumb sits. Oh. I have a giant square palm. Okay. It's called a singing increase. I think that's actually like the... It's not really the friendly term anymore, but... Uh, Simeon meaning monkey. When I was born, I was taken away to check if I had Down syndrome because everyone that has Down syndrome has hands like that. 
Okay. It's like a extra gene or mutated genome or something like that. And that used to be one of the main ways they could tell if you had Down syndrome before they had all the testing and stuff they do. Obviously, I don't have Down syndrome, um, but I have this. And I've only ever met one other person with two hands like this. Wow. And it's my stepmom. Oh, what? No blood relation. So my mom has one hand like this and one hand like you. Yeah. And I've met a few other people that have one hand, but I've only met one other person with both hands and it's my dad's wife. No blood relation. Holy shit. That's... How crazy is that? Very crazy. Anyway, so that's my hands that aren't so interesting. Johnny. See you guys later. Oh, fucker. <laughs>